up YouTube? It's your girl Sila Bell and today we're back with Vlogmas Day 19. And as you guys can already tell by the title, we're going to be doing, I guess this is kind of a story time. Not really. But we're just basically going to be telling you guys how we met and basically how we got together as a couple. First, we can talk about how we met because neither one of us really remembers. Um, I just know that we met at school, high school, and through a friend, well, and we were friends. Well, she was an old friend of mine. I think that's how we met. Yes, it was. It was. That's how we met. Whatever, that's how we met. <laughs> Literally in high school through an old friend of mine. Me and that girl is not friends anymore, so an old friend of mine, that's how we met. Now, moving on to how we became a couple, basically. <laughs> No. <laughs> um, pretty much, I had a little crush on her. She was already telling my sister that she liked me. Nigga, she never you, told first me. of all, you just jumped, you just jumped for it. Like, first of all, no, that's not how it even started. I had a little crush on her or whatever, but I never, like, I don't know if I was too afraid or whatever the case may be to just, I don't know if it was me tell her or us even do something because me and her were like best friends. Like we were mad close in high school and basically I just didn't want to, you know, break that bond if, you know, me telling her I liked her or if us dating, like if something happened or whatever. So. All right, that's a little bit of background information. Now, fast forward to her being in college. One night she had, um, well, she invited me and this old friend of mine to what a Halloween party up over there by the school she was going to. And of course I had been drinking or whatever. So after the party, I had liquor courage and I, and I hit her up, oh no. We went to the party then, after the party we went to this chicken shack place or whatever around the corner from it. And then after after we left there, that's when I had the good courage and I had been um, talking like in the car with the old friend. I was just like, shit, I was talking to her about it. I was like, shit, should I say something? Should I not? Like whatever. So she was like, yeah, just say it. So boom. Me and the, the old friend on the way home and she convinced me to shoot her the text. So I shot my shot or whatever. And at first she was just like, you're drunk, like da -da -da -da, basically like trying to dub me <laughs> in a nice way. So then whatever, she didn't, br she didn't bring it up like the next day and neither did I, I left it alone. So then I don't know how much longer later I had I was over her house and she brought it up in person, y'all. <laughs> she brought it up in person, and I try to play dumb, like I didn't remember what I said or whatever like that. But then I I admitted to it. No, you wouldn't. Like you was, you was sitting at the bottom of the bed and I was sitting at the top of the bed, and I was like, yeah. So the other night, like, do you remember like what you texted me? And then she just started cheesing that hard. <laughs> Uh, like read to her word for word what she was saying to me and she just like was just looking at me laughing and that's how that that's how that went yeah so then after that she still is like she still didn't give me an answer in a way so I had ended up um texting her sister and I had I basically was telling her like I like her or whatever well I like her <laughs> or whatever and I just like I didn't know how to say it and basically I was trying to have her put me on through her whatever like that 
And so, well, I wanted her to find out if she, the feelings were mutual because at this point, it was October, y'all. It was Halloween and I had basically shot my shot. Like I told you I liked you and she still didn't say nothing about it. Like she just let it go. And then now I think we're in November and she still didn't say nothing. Then finally around Thanksgiving, <laughs> <laughs> we had went out it was me her her sister and your friend mm -hmm. we all went out to this bar and everyone had been drinking like crazy like drinking and um and so on the way home we were in the back seat and her sister was driving and the friend was in the front seat and we were just in the back jamming like to music and then all of a sudden she kisses me. <laughs> That's a hard oh, use that. You guys, each had to use the bathroom. I don't feel like sitting here waiting for her to come back. So we just gonna continue without her. So yeah. Um the night I don't know if it was the night I don't think it was Thanksgiving. It was around Thanksgiving. And we were on the way back from the club, like, I mean the bar, like I was telling y'all. And me and her had been drinking or whatever like that. We're in the back seat and we, and she just like, she just kissed me. So after that, we had, I had stayed the night over her house. And when I stayed the night over her house, um, we, I had woke up the next morning in her bed and she was basically like holding me and we were just like what the heck happened like you know and then even then like we were just vibing like we were just going with the flow and basically like it had been made clear that I had feelings for her she had feelings for me so yeah we literally was just going with the flow we were talking more we started because I knew her like on a friend level like I didn't know her on like a relationship level so we had spent time more time together we were just like staying on the phone more um I was going to her college and um staying at her college with her her dorm and stuff like that so I don't know, everything was all good. And then it came like close to the New Year's. And I'm just like, girl, what are we doing? Like, what is this? I don't I don't know what this is. Like, do we talk? Are we gonna be together? Like, whatever the case may be. Cause like I said, keep in mind, me and her have been friends already since I believe sophomore year of our sophomore of high school um we have been friends already now she, we fast forward i think at this point in time she was like a junior or senior in college so we had known each other for that long so i'm just like you know what's going on here what's this gonna be so by new year's i'm like i need to know if we're gonna be together or what this is you know so i can move accordingly and so then on january 1st of 2019 that's when she asked me to be her girlfriend period <laughs> and we've been together ever since so this january 1st will make three years of us being together and yeah so basically that's how we met it will, I don't re remember too much about that, y'all, but I don't really remember how I met any of my friends, or really. Like, I only remember how I met one friend, and that's it. Like, I, I don't know, that how you meet people, that junk just be happening. But this is our story of how we met and basically how we got together. Your girl shot her shot, and I made it. <laughs> after a little while <laughs> it was it was spinning around the room for a little bit but eventually it went in 
make sure you guys like comment and subscribe sorry that isha is not here for the rest of the story sis had to use the bathroom but whatever um and yeah your girl will see you guys in vlogmas day 20 my gosh the 20th day already this is crazy but your girl is out Carvel on the beat.